and hey yo everybody how are y'all doing today i hope y'all are having a fantastic day today and if not i hope this video can help cheer it up so today is an exciting day because we are starting our first series on this channel i'm calling it tiny terrain and basically we're going to be on this flat world here and in a 50 block by 50 block space we're going to be building a custom biome using only blocks produced by vanilla minecraft i think this is a great way to test my creativity and also create a new niche here on minecraft uh on minecraft content i know there has been tons and tons of custom biomes built by minecrafters but i haven't seen a dedicated series to creating custom biomes so i thought this would be a great idea to, to just start one so starting off episode one of tiny terrains is our first biome the mushroom dunes but i was inspired i was inspired by the by the red sand and using the red sandstone because i really like this deep orange color here and then i thought instead of just using bare trees why not use white mushrooms of course with the black top i've seen people use this palette before in mushrooms but i thought this would pair very well with the red sandstone and then finally i'm thinking for water if we're doing a river i thought why not include kind of this fog effect you can create with stained glass and i'm thinking of putting glowstone on the bottom and then we have this yellow river trailing through the sandy dunes so mushroom dunes episode one here we go
from the building montage. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let's take a tour around our first biome in this series. So here was our initial block palette. And the name, I said earlier in the video, the Mushroom Dunes. I think it fits quite well. So one of the main things that I really wanted to keep consistent throughout this series is that this is creating new biomes. We're not transforming anything, like we're not transforming villages or upgrading. We're creating something entirely new. And that's what I think we did here. We have the, of course, the basic red sand layer, but we did something more to differentiate it from the regular mesa bi biome. So first off, we have the, I think you got these like yellow acid lakes. I'm, I'm really sad that I didn't increase the world height on this flat world and we could have got a really cool fog effect. But I think y'all see like it's true effect whenever we do a final cinematic at the end and y'all see how oh, that's pretty cool. And I think I really like the, what are these called? The warp, warped roots, yes. I thought adding these would add that pop of color that was really needed in this desert. Otherwise, it would have been way too plain. Of course, the coarse dirt helps to break it up and the, the dead bushes help to give some height to the flat landscape. And of course, the frogs. We cannot forget about the frogs. I think they are an excellent addition to the desert. Even though they might not live there, Maybe we can come up with reason of like, maybe they survive off of the warp roots. But I think they're just a really cool addition. Now getting on to the mushrooms, of course we have the small mushroom, medium, and large. I think the small mushroom, I've seen this design before, and it's alright. You know, there's only so much you can do with smaller uh, building material. But I really, really like the large mushrooms. I, the bright white against the red sand really contrasts. And I really like that color, especially with these orange frog lamps. I think those are really cool. And, and also adding the black stone buttons on top of the mushrooms really also sell the effect that it is a mushroom. And of course, we have the elevation here to differentiate it from... And that concludes episode one of Tiny Terrain. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, thanks for watching. And if you guys want to see the next episode, make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified whenever the next episode is posted. Alrighty, we'll see y'all in the next episode. This is Eden now.